guys, Henry from Adventure Air here, and uh, we're at the uh, Corona Airport for their open house here today, and we've got Dave Bacon, who is the president of the PRA Chapter 31, and uh, how are you today, Dave? I'm having a great time, man. I'm having a great time. Awesome. Get to fly out here. we got a bunch of aircraft, and it's a good day. The sun finally came out. Sounds good. Well, he's going to tell us all about his incredible machine here, so take it away, Dave. All right, I got a uh, Sport Copter Super Vortex here. It's a uh, got a Honda Fit motor on it, 110 horse. I'm uh, burning about five gallons an hour. Um, Sport cup the rotors. Got the rough landing gear package on this, and I got 18 gallons of fuel. So I'm good for two hours plus a good reserve and and, uh, and be able to make it back. What kind of horsepower do you have on this thing? I got 110 horse. Wow. It wow. cruises. It cruises 85, 90 real well. I've had it up to 125, but. That's fast. That's uh, more than I want to go. <laughs> it's still it's still rock solid. It's just I'm pushing the motor way too hard to get there. And what else we got, Henry? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we noticed when he came in, uh, he did kind of a cool approach here. He came vertical over the runway, little spin action, came in, shoop, no problem, huh? I'm trying to get my my zero landings, zero roll landings down. So. That, so <laughs> I mean, I've had eight inch and outs in gyros, so I'm expecting it all the time. And practicing those landings with zero roll is something I like to do. Yeah, yeah, that's most, a tough Most thing. of my landings, you know, if traffic permits and in the, in the pattern, I'll try to do a zero roll landing pretty much every time. And that's great. That's, you know, that's when, when we're doing practice, you guys probably have noted on our, a lot of our landings, we'll pull the power, come in at zero power and land, because that is an emergency landing, but it can make be your standard landing. So if you ever do have a problem, like Dave says, you can just come in and- You're just, you're ready for it. It's, ready it's, it's, it's the landing. way to go. Oh, I've yeah. got the um, fatty tires. I got the big fat tires. It's the off-road package. It really takes across. I mean, they, they run this thing across all kinds of stuff, and it, it, it seemed to handle real well. It's got the differential tow brakes and the free cast ring nose wheel. So this thing, I could I can turn it on a dime, no problem. Um, when I first started flying this one here, I had a problem with one of the brakes, and that was a problem because I couldn't turn left. And it was just because that I had to taxi, I was up at Beaumont, and I had to taxi for about a mile downwind with the wind blowing 20 miles an hour, and it pushed me, so I got the brakes too hot. And so, instead of being able to turn left, I just turned right and did a 180 and got out on the, on the thing, and I did it again, and, and then I was, and I took off. Probably shouldn't have done it that way, but even when it does have a problem, I can still get through it. So this motor is actually a car motor. It's from a Honda Fit. And uh, pretty reliable engines, right? It's so far, so good. It's, this one has 185 hours on it. I've put uh, 30 of those on there. And not 30, I got more than that. But it's, it, it runs like a top. I mean, it really hasn't missed a beat. It's smooth and it's strong. Cool. And uh, what is your fuel burn on this thing, would you guess? I am burning five gallons an hour. I just flew up from Oceanside this morning to Corona. I had to go around a little bit for the clouds. It took me an hour to get here and I burned five gallons. Nice, 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 nice. I have a warp drive prop on here. And I, when I got the gyro, it didn't have the ADS-B on it. So I got that and I got the Echo and it has the ADS-B in. I mean, I never thought, you know, I mean, I've been flying gyros my whole life and I never even had anything but a wind string. And now to have all this stuff on here, it really makes it nice. They have all the instruments and everything you need. I mean, I could, I could literally fly this across the country and I hope to do that someday. Cool. So far I've gone for a two hour flight and I still had five gallons of fuel. So I've been up to, uh, I flew up to El Mirage from Oceanside, so. Okay. Is it comfortable? I can almost fall asleep in this thing. This thing is almost too comfortable. I mean, it's just, you just sit there and it's just like everything is perfect. I mean, it, it is just, Spork, Jim did a real good job with this at, 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 at Spork Copter. I mean, I could almost, if it wasn't exciting to be in the air, I could almost fall asleep in this thing. <laughs> this is experimental. Um, I did not build it. This was a kit from, from Spork Copter. I mean, obviously, you know, it had been sitting, you know, this is a 2013 model. So I pretty much went over everything and made sure that everything was good to go. I mean, I had to rebuild the gearbox. Didn't have to, but I wanted to. It's got the air trim on it, which really is nice. This air trim up here, 
It was really super. Um, it, it, it just, I can take my hands off and, 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 and like normally I'm used to flying these where the, the trim is set. You know, like on the, on the, on the Bensons and the, and the smaller machines, it's got a spring back there and you set it and then you set it for whatever speed you want to have it at and then that's where the stick is centered at. But this one here, I can fly it at 20 miles an hour and I can set this trim or I can set it for 100 miles an hour and set the trim and then it pretty much, it just makes everything easy. Um, as far as this being uh, a little more nimble than the two-place machines, it, it is incredible. Um, the, the death spirals, I can just go to zero airspeed, drop the nose and, and come into a, a corner and, and come down. And I'm coming down at, at, at 60 miles an hour, 55 miles an hour, and it's just fully under control, and it really feels nice. Have you ever tried to do one of those in a, in a Cavalon? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How'd they do? Pretty good? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'll have to try that one sometime. Yeah. We'll go up and do it. All right. <laughs>